The five default user roles in WordPress are subscriber. This is the most limited role available. Subscribers can create user profiles, but can't publish or edit posts. They can leave comments without needing to enter login details each time, receive notifications and access private content. Contributor. Contributors have all the permissions of subscribers. Contributors have all the permissions of subscribers. Plus they can edit and delete their own posts. However, they can't publish content or upload media files. Author. This role adds the ability to publish posts written by the user. Authors can also upload media. Editor. Editors have all the abilities of authors and can also edit and publish posts written by other users. However, they still cannot access areas such as plugins, appearance, and settings. And finally, administrator. The administrator role offers full access to the back end. These users can add and edit pages in addition to posts. They could also install plugins and themes, access all of the WordPress settings, and edit other users' accounts. There's technically a sixth role, the super admin. However, this role is only used in WordPress multi-site networks. Additionally, some plugins may add more user roles to your WordPress installation. Anyways, when assigning roles, it's best to always follow the plop aka the principle of least privilege. Give users the lowest level of permissions required to do their job and no more. Now that you understand how WordPress classifies user accounts, you can safely start creating new ones. First, head to your WordPress dashboard and navigate to users, add new. Now just start filling out the form. When you get to the password section, you could either type in your own or simply click generate password. You could also decide if you want to send the new user an email by checking this box. The last step is to choose a user role from the drop down menu. Once that's done, go ahead and click on add new user to finalize the process. WordPress lets you enable user registration so you don't always have to be directly involved in the process. You can find this option by going to settings general. Now, right down here under membership, you'll see a checkbox for anyone can register. Simply check that and save your settings. And there you go. That's all you need to know. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.